Okay, welcome to the second video. In this one, we'll be learning about the one-handed surgical knot, uh, which is what you're going to primarily use in the OR and uh, whatever else you might be tying these knots. So the first thing you want to do, this is this is the exact same knot as we just did with the two-handed knot, but instead of uh, switching hands with each of the pieces of string, we're actually just going to be doing all the work with the left hand, and the right hand will pretty much just be standing still. Um, so what you're going to do to set up for this one is you're going to have the left string, which is the purple string in this case, again going away from you, uh, kind of over your index finger and, uh, and the free end, kind of that direction. Uh, the other hand you're actually going to reverse. Uh, just kind of for comfort's sake, I like to hold it like this so that the, uh, the free end is going uh, past my pinky, down there you'll see. And um, yeah, it's, it's kind of a matter of preference, but it kind of works very well for the setup we're going to be doing. So uh, the first thing you're going to do is uh, you're going to pinch the purple strand in your left hand and you're just going to pinch it with the first two fingers and you're just going to let it kind of lay just uh, nice and easy across your other fingers. Uh, and so what you're going to do is you're going to wrap the white strand around your, uh, around your left three fingers so that it's going the opposite direction of the purple strand. And this is always going to be the case in both moves. So purple strand is going away from you, so the white strand needs to come towards you so that the free end is down here coming towards the pinky. All right? So then what you're going to do, this is kind of the tricky part, you're going to curl your middle finger so that it goes over the white and under the purple. Right? And then what you're going to do is you're going to straighten out your finger and kind of pinch the purple with these two fingers with your middle finger and your third finger, or fourth finger rather, and you're just going to use that to pull it through that little white uh, loop that we've got going there. So I'll do that one more time before moving on. So you've got the purple strand going away from you. You've got the white strand coming towards you. And you're pinching the purple strand with your first two fingers. And you're laying the white strand coming towards you in the opposite direction of the purple strand. You're curling your finger so that the white is under the tip of your finger and the purple is over the tip of your finger. Straighten out your finger pinch with these two fingers and pull it through. Okay. Now what you'll notice is once you pull that through that if you if you pull it tight it's gonna look all messed up just like we showed you in the last video. So what you want to do is you want to actually switch your hands and pull it tight and you'll notice that it lays nice and flat and it looks exactly like it did at the after the first move of the two-handed knot. So what you're gonna do at this point is you're gonna lightly lightly uncross them without kinda of yanking on it to, to undo what you just did and now both strands should be coming towards you. So the free ends should be closest to your pinkies, not your forefingers. Your forefingers should be closest to the knot. Okay? And so now what you're going to do is you're actually going to use your first finger and you're, again you're going to put the white strand over the, over the left finger uh, in the opposite direction of the purple strand. So the purple strand is coming towards you now so now the white has to go away from you instead of towards you like the last one. So what I want to do is I want to curl my finger again and I'm going to use my thumb to actually lift the purple strand over the back of my first finger. All right, so I'm doing the exact same thing I did with my middle finger, I'm doing it with my first finger. I'm pulling it over the white under the purple and then I'm straightening out my finger and using it to pull it through that white loop again. Okay, and now I'm going to grab it and this time I don't need to cross my hands because it's nice and flat and you'll notice that's the exact same knot that we tied last time with two hands so I'll do that again starting with purple away from you white coming towards you pinch three fingers coming towards you opposite direction of the purple curl your middle finger and grab the purple strand pinch and pull through switch my hands and pull it nice and tight and get it nice and flat. Lightly uncross my hands. Now purple is coming towards me, so white goes away. Use my thumb to lift the purple over the top. And then just pull it right through that white loop and pull it nice and flat. And you can straighten that out so that you get that nice little ladder pattern again. And that's essentially it. You can do this with the opposite hand. There's a couple of different ways to actually pull this off. Uh, so don't worry if someone teaches you another way. It's all the same knot. Um, so there you go. That's the, the one-handed surgical knot. And uh, in the next video, uh, I'll be showing you how to do uh, an instrument tie.